Okay, so probably we're going to proceed. Uh, again, very happy to, to host this first uh, webinar series. Uh, again, uh, uh, live in Lyon at 6 p.m., uh, uh, 12 p.m. in the U.S. We are uh, very happy to initiate this series of uh, mini webinars. The purpose of it was to, um, to make a quick introduction on the capabilities offered by our chips and our devices with a, a direct client testimony. So um, Netri is a, just a reminder, Netri is an is a start, is industrial startup company. We are based in France, in Lyon, and we believe that we can uh, challenge the way we discover the treatments by using organ chips. So organ chips are microfluidic devices that um, allows to make special organizations of cells, especially human cells, to make the function of an organ. There's a lot of startup in these in this companies and a lot of in these areas and a lot of technologies. And we believe that uh, uh, neurons and especially um, neurons, neural organoids can help to translate and explore mode of action of any drugs. And we, we design, uh, manufacture and uh, sell neural organoid chips that are um, ready to use into the preclinical trials area. All this bounds to the multiple uh, uh, disciplinaries, especially engineering, biology, digital, and we believe that user experiments is at the center of the adoptability of those organ chips to the, towards the pharma company. So our mission is to democratize organ chip. To do that, we believe that we may need to maintain high throughput capabilities and especially to leverage existing equipment um, uh, compatibility. Bottom line is that if you need to adopt a new innovation with a, a high binding equipment facility, this won't work. And we truly believe that we need our mission is to make our, all our devices compatible with already current lab equipment. That's why we represented the high throughput area in which our neo Bento system fits this category of, um, of, uh, of, of um, devices. Today, we're going to focus, especially on the, on, the, on the dedicated capabilities of our chips, uh, focusing on propagation and transport. Propagation and transport, especially in neuroscience, is relevant and it's an important question to study how a drug, a con an, an antibodies, or a molecule will go from the proximal to the distal area of a remotely connected uh, neural network. So the body is naturally compartmentalized. Here we represented a, a different <clears throat> natural uh, pathology of CNS and PNS. As you can see, an example, uh, the, the sensory neurons that, are, that relies into, into the sense, that rise into the, the basal ganglia, the, the, sorry, the, the, the dorsal horn, will project their, um, their axons towards uh, mucus, which is the, the skin. And those projections allow to make a remote sensing going, taking the information backwards to the spinal cord and then to the brain. The conventional methods won't allow to recreate this compartmentalization, especially with classical petri dishes, as we have an example here, and especially to address what would happen if we apply a compound with something on the remote side and to study the propagation from, one, from the, the, the skin to the, to the spinal cord. That's what we do with our chips. All our designs are made in a way that we can make fluidly isolated uh, compartmentalization by using microchannel technologies and microgrooves technologies. This is just an example and forecast of what we can have. On the lower part of the picture, you can see sensory neurons that are innovated to 2D keratinocyte cells, human-based, and in which you can see axonal projections going from one compartment to the other while maintaining two fluidic isolation uh, compartments. And on the other side, you can see a pure, axon, a pure um, a human cell, human induced and stem cells derived neurons that will project from one side to the other, allowing to have the only proximal way on the, on the left side. Now, that being said, there's a different way to do that. The first mean is to use micro, the micro channels in a tunnel way, in which the um, micro grooves are in the upper level of the, of the, of, um, the materials, we use PDMS. And you can see projection from the channel in the red uh, immunofluorescent stain uh, compartments towards the, the, the green side, and you can see that axons will project from one side to the other. Now, on the opposite, you can use grooves when you want to enhance projection and uh, push axons from one side towards the other side in a high throughput manner, meaning that you can study uh, and, pro and the projection in a fluidic isolated way 
axons that will sprout from the uh, left compartment to the right compartment, whatever the design is. So we've studied the fluidic isolation, which is critical when you want to study, for example, the same IPSCs that, is, that are derived in two different directions from one side to the other. Fluidic isolation is made and is performed by this compartmentation in which axon will sprout in microgrooves, will, will, which will shut the fluidic isolation. Again, in, stunt, in conventional microfluidic devices, <clears throat> the fact is that by human handling of the system or by natural diffusion, there's a, a natural diffusion from one compartment to the other one. Using our dualink uh, ultra or dualink system, you, you are able, with the garbage collector compartment in the middle, to lower the fluidic isolation and to enhance repeatability of those uh, devices. What we want to show you here is the unique capabilities using this fluidic isolation thus um, enhancing the, 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 the placement of a compound on, on one side to the other, and especially in this particular case, using herpes virus. You can see that when you place herpes virus in one compartment only, five hours post-exposure, and, and after 15 hours post-exposure, you're able to have an active biological process that transports one herpes virus that are in the, in the, in the distal side to the proximal side. Using our devices, you are totally able to analyze furthermore the different excretome or what is inside the cells by using our standard protocols. And here we've coupled the devices with conventional, conventional measurement system like ELISA with a partner in which we dose how much virus was positioned from one compartment to the other one with an active, active biological process. On the opposite, you can also use, you can also monitor what is internalized by the cells and what is not internalized. By using, a, again, a standard protocol, you can use LCMS, for example, to look at what is uh, still in the, in the, in the excretome media, or by using on in chip lysis directly to look at what is internalized. And by doing so, you can do both in the distal or proximal compartment. And using all those capabilities, you're able to study, for example, um, um, motion of one compartment to the other one, or active transport uh, using active biological process for, with neuron-to-neuron uh, -neuron or neuron-to-mucus cells. The global idea of the webinars is to have this short introduction, but also to have a client testimony that shows the power and the power of the capabilities of our chips. And today we ask gently uh, Simon Aubil, who, is a, who was a PhD student in an academic team that used our chips to uh, study his, his fundamental PhD questions. So I will leave him to tell you how it works and what is the benefit from it. Hello, I am Simon Ruby and I am currently in the last year of my thesis. I am working on the herpes simplex virus 1 capable of infecting, among others, human neurons. To do so, I use human-induced pluripotent stem cell, called IPS, that I differentiate <coughs> into neurons. Since the beginning of my PhD, I have been collaborating with Netri using their device called Dualic Ultra to compartmentalize my neurons. This allows me to separate the cell body from their axonal terminals. Their device has already allowed me to obtain preliminary results, either on the good differentiation of IPS directly in their device, or on the good projection of axon from one compartment to the other. I also perform specific infection of axon terminals with a GFP virus and observe a retrograde transport of the virus through axon projections. Of course, the microfetic isolation between the different compartments was validated previously. Apart from the technical aspects, the Dualink Ultra are very user-friendly, thanks to the user manual provided. In my case, I had no trouble familiarizing myself with the device, and in case of problems, the technical service of Netri was always at my disposal. Thanks to the Dualink Ultra, we are making progress in the understanding of infections by major human pathogenic viruses. You will have understood that I highly recommend the Dualink Ultra device Sorry for the French accent and enjoy the end of your webinar. <laughs> Bye. We really thank um, uh, Simon for his testimony that, uh, that, that, that is kind of heartbreaking because we actually been working for him for the past three years and we're happy that we actually helped uh, going forward in the understanding of herpes virus and his PhD um, uh, principal uh, thesis. Now, the global idea of this webinar is to open the questions. Again, it was very, it's very short. That's the purpose of it. So can, you can connect at any time uh, in the car or at lunch. 
and uh, I'll be more than happy to uh, answer any questions if you have. And um, let's open the floor. I'm sure there's some questions. <laughs> Okay, well, if there's no uh, hands up, uh, let's see in the next webinar um, that is on the twenty, the, on the a, on the eighteenth of October about uh, the capabilities number two with three D culture and organizing to achieve. Thank you very much for your time and looking forward to seeing you. Bye bye.